Murray, come on out, buddy. All right, I have a hundred dollars for you. I want to see how you spend a hundred dollars to get as much bang for your buck when it comes to art stuff. Jen, I have a hundred dollars for you. I want to see how you spend it on art supplies only. Alicia, I'm going to attack you with a challenge and a hundred dollars. There you go. Oh, don't spend okay. it all at once now. Or do. Okay, and of course, last but not least, me. One hundred dollars. You have two hours. We have to be back by three p.m. because we're going to live stream on my vlog channel, and we're going to actually have some live decisions made. You're also going to have one hour to work with your art materials. So, choose wisely. You have two hours, let's go, come on. At the end of the day, I think I've proven myself as the king of cheap art supplies. I feel like I could pull off some cool stuff and stretch that $100 as far as I can. Yeah, this is this is the stuff, $16. Ooh, scented. We're not even halfway. I wonder if anyone else is doing paints. Here you go, I'm thinking watercolor. I'm gonna do a sketch first. Let's get one of them. A fine liner, watercolor pencils. All right, we've got $3.80 left. Don't tell Jazza. It tastes better when it's free. Let me have mixed to medium. What am I at so far? Was it 48? Plus 36. 8 plus 6 is 8 plus 6. Oh! I forgot that this would be a part of the challenge. I'm gonna get red, yellow, and blue, black, and white. Primaries. This is huge. 111.96. Okay, I'm over budget. These are probably a bit much. That's 95 97 I've got four whole dollars. So this is where the art store was. Uh-oh. Uh What's happening, Jen? Apparently the art store we want to go to doesn't exist anymore. Okay, plan B. Let's go to Daiso. Can you get art supplies at Daiso? Markers. Always good to have a black. Some scissors, some glue. And what are you going to use it for? I have no idea. Thank you. <gasps> We missed a whole aisle. This aisle's way better. I feel like I need to start from scratch. <laughs> eraser, sharpener, charcoal, needable eraser. Maybe I'll go more inks and washes. Although, does that go with... <sighs> I am so indecisive. My problem is my attention span. That's... Oh, I need a new one of those. I've... My brain has just shut down. I'm overwhelmed by choice. <laughs> I'm calling it. We'll find tons of stuff. It'll be great. Uh, you seem confident. Yeah, come on. You think this will go horribly? Nah. Pens, pencils, paint. Got it all. We are so good, Rob. You set? I'm, I'm not even worried. How much did it cost? $21. So you've got about 80 bucks left and an hour and a half. Yeah. What do you want to do? Paint $23.99. Whoa. Alright, got $15 left. $12.99. A mechanical pencil. Two pack. Alright, we're set. I think this is money well spent. I got all this, five cents change, and a lollipop. I'm pretty sure I've won this challenge. I asked you on Twitter if I gave you exactly $100 to spend on pro art supplies, what would you buy? Screenshot your cart and you might just get it. Apple pencil. Just the apple pen, how much is that? Ah, uh, no, that doesn't count unless you're buying one from Catch. You got $100 max, that's it. Julia casting molds, mica powders, clear pigment, clear resin, epoxy sculpt. That's a pretty solid card. Congratulations, Rageway. I'm gonna give you $100 so you can get started in resin sculpting because that sounds really fun. If you ever wanted to try out body paints, I would send you the entire collection just to see what you create. Primary paint, $65 for five body paints and then you get a brush. But it goes to show quality materials are expensive. I'd buy Copic supplies from office works. Wow. Okay, two problems here. One, you're over a hundred dollars. You broke the rule. <laughs> two, is that it? Two markers, 20 sheets of blending card and spare brush nibs. Over a hundred dollars. Honestly, professional grade art supplies are expensive. You actually don't get a lot when you spend a hundred dollars if you want quality. Kerry Bars wants to try golden paints. Matte versions look incredible. Okay, so you've got gesso, an acrylic retarder and a set of 10 acrylics. That's a pretty solid start. You know, Kerry, I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks so you can get started using golden paints. Would you want to try? Leanne's choices include Sumi ink. So that, that uh, the stone calligraphy thing I did a while ago with that ink where you 
you grind it. That was really interesting and really fun. And this looks like a solid set. That looks really well thought out. So I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks so you can get started in that. Quality art materials are expensive, especially if you want it to last over time. My Pro Artist Series is a collection for under a hundred dollars that caters exactly to that. The long-term professionalism and quantity all in one box. Now you'll have heard me say a few times that there's over $200 worth of value in the box. So I'm just gonna take a minute to prove that by going to the Spectrum Noir website and building the box. I don't sell 24 packs of markers, so I'm gonna have to add two 12 packs, even though they would be matching colors. We're just going for the numbers here. The universal trays that come with it, they only sell it in sets of six and they're out of stock. We are selling it with two trays. Let's divide that by three. So that's $7.07. .07. We'll add that to the price. Six piece set of art liners, set of 24 color blades and pencils, 20 pages of marker paper, and then they don't actually have my illustrations. Let's just pretend they cost the same as the marker paper. So I'll add that twice. So it's an order total of just over $206 plus the seven plus dollars for the trays. And that's not including any of the custom packaging elements of the fact that you get it all in one container for $99.95. I can proudly say this is the best hundred dollars any illustrator could spend on a kit to set them up for the future or build upon their existing collection. Sarah Davies, the CEO of Crafters Companion and Spectrum Noir has just sent me a little bit of footage showing it off. You'll notice the sticker sheets of the beards that we're putting in the boxes. A celebration which Sarah has joined in on by wearing a beard herself. That's the thing I'm weirdly proud that I was a part of making happen. <laughs> and there's some hidden surprises. There are five random golden tickets. They're gonna be put in random deliveries. They're going out in the next week, which gives the winner of the golden ticket a shopping spree on the Spectrum Noir website. And that video I did with Sarah Renee Clark coloring the giant coloring page. I sent that giant coloring page over to Sarah and she packed it into a random box. Oh, and if you get the Pro Artist Series, make sure to use hashtag JPack because I want to check them out in future. It's a chance for everyone to see each other's creations with the box and I might even make content with it in future. But without any further ado, let's find out if we're all proud of the hundred dollars we spent today and if our purchases stand up to scrutiny. Okay, let's start with Alicia. What would you get? Watercolor pencils. So it would be like okay. pencils and paints. And then just a pencil, some fine liners, some gel pens, a kneadable eraser and a trusty sharpener. Amazing. I got scented colors. So I'm very excited about that. I got fine liners. I got a whole acrylic paint set. I got mechanical pencils of the brand Mechanical Pencil. <laughs> My favorite. And the biggest goddamn sketchbook I've ever seen. What'd you get, Jen? So I went to Daiso and I got a bunch of these really cool origami papers. You know origami? I do. Ooh. All right, Murray, how's it going? I've covered all the bases. It's strategic. Don't question it yet. This is like was... $12. Where's the change? What'd you do, Murray? Thank you, Jazza. Colored textures, markers, paintbrushes, and a palette. Where's your palette? That's a fair point. Yeah. But do your <laughs> markers smell like mine? Sniff a marker. Oh, oh. Huh? it just smells like plastic. All together, you ready? Three, two, one, go. go. Chat, give me a prompt. Kaiju and demon. I'm gonna do a kaiju demon. How's everyone feeling about their haul right now? Uh, nervous. Pretty confident. This is the worst kaiju ever. He looks like he needs to go to the toilet. All right, give me a different art prompt. There was something wrong with the prompt. It was terrible. A <laughs> walrus king. I like that. All right, I'm gonna do a walrus king. I got mechanical pencils, which I'm regretting now that I don't have an eraser. I don't have a lot that I can sort of say I'm happy about. Um, it's going okay. How much time have we got left? You have 12 minutes. Oh, I take it back. We're not, I'm not doing very well. I like the line work. Now I regret everything because all of these are going to be terrible because the markers are going to be too rough. I think these might actually be all right to like, yeah, to get some soft color down. But to fill this like walrus, then it all is going to look like crayon and I need to use the paint somewhere. So not great. I wish I'd just done one single thing instead of trying to create like a landscape. We're going for using all of the things. I'm going for a nice loose style. <laughs> we get it done. I'm going to make it really rich. Oh my God. You did not, you sir. Gave it to me. I'm working with like 
minimal supplies here and I'm still having to compromise. Yeah. Uh, we have under 10 minutes left. No, no we don't. <laughs> I got gold, I got gold! This is awful! It just smears the black! Ugh, gross. Four minutes and 12 seconds. All right, stop! Uh, so I used a different medium to everyone else except the glitter probably. Yeah, and the ping pong balls. And mine has birds on it and is very colorful and pretty and it's 3D and that's why mine's the best. Well, I have used a huge array of mediums, the textures, the markers, we've got charcoal, acrylic paint, and we've got 3D aspects in ping pong balls for hills. So clearly I've incorporated everything everyone else has done, made it better and not made any poor decisions in the making of any of this. I have the widest variety uh, and quantity of mediums from smell pens that don't particularly smell and my palette. crayons that look like leaves and slightly smell but actually are surprisingly good paints that come in every variety of color except for purple which I really needed and looks black but it's fine it's fine but actually you know the pencils and the pen it was okay mine is the best because it is super easy to use with this like cool water pen if you do a better job than me and if you have more time you can make it look really cool you have like a very cool art Artwork and you keep talking yourself down. <laughs> so everyone in stream has voted. All right, give us the result. Unfortunately, uh, Murray on 13% of the votes. Oh. Oh. In equal second place was Jazza and Jake. Oh. Hey. Congratulations, Alicia. Someone's not going home empty handed. <laughs> All right, now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments who wins. We've got Mari's purchases. Uh, these are his art supplies, and this is the artwork he made. Uh, let us know if you reckon this one deserves to be the winner. We have Jen's paper craft with the, the cranes and the different swirls. So these are the art supplies that she got, and then this is the piece she created. And we have Alicia's art collection with some watercolor pencils and this dragon here. These are the art supplies she got, and this is the creation she made. And last but not least, here is my giant walrus with my giant collection of affordable art supplies, which I'll let you be the judge. <laughs> so be the judge in the comments, let us know what you think, and of course, if you're looking for new art supplies, you need to look no further than my Pro Artist Illustrator series. I love you guys, can't wait to see you in the next video. Subscribe for more fun, and until next time, I'll see you later.